happiness and encouragement for me, I cannot express my heart to you. Yeah, thank you. you are so kind to me. Yeah, I'm very so, sincere. To pray for others selflessly is something very big and I believe on such prayers. It affects others also when it comes from... We were very honored by the fact that Brother Cole had received an invitation to meet with the Minister of Political and Religious Affairs, the government of Pakistan, Muhammad Yahangar Budar. And this is our meeting with him as we met for tea and had a very cordial visit uh, with the minister and several delegates of his. And of course, uh, Brother Cole and our missionaries in Pakistan, Brother Sham. And God helped us to find favor in the eyes of this man. Thank you very much. I'm lucky to have a man like you. Thank you very much. We will do our very best to be a blessing to you and to your nation while we are here. I'm so grateful. We are not here to proselyte to our church. We are here to lead the Christian community yeah. to a deeper experience with God and to cause them to understand the scriptures better. That is the purpose of our coming. A presentation was made by the missionaries and the national leaders on behalf of the United Pentecostal Church of Pakistan in commemoration of the crusade. Special thanks was offered to the minister and his staff for the hospitality that we received. Missionary Sham was kind to take us to a scenic overlook where we were able to get a panoramic view the twin cities of Islamabad and Rawalpindi which is the location of where our crusade would be held it's interesting to note that we had to move the dates of the crusade back one day on direction from the government of Pakistan due to a political strike that was expected on the Sunday so the original dates of the crusade were Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We ended up having the crusade meeting starting on Thursday night through Friday and Saturday night was the final night. The Islamic nation of Pakistan, 98% Muslim. The Christian minority is officially reported at about 2%. God surely helped us to find favor. Brother Cole being entertained by some Pakistani musicians at the hotel where we were staying.
and there appeared unto them glowing tongues. Like as fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Their tongue began to speak a language that they did not understand. That means they were worshiping the Lord in their own language. That you've ever given. You that already have the Holy Ghost speak another tongue. All you that are preachers and pastors, lift your hands over this congregation. And I want everyone to worship with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Now when I finish, it won't take very long. Your hands will go up. Your voice will be loud. And you will be praising God. By the authority of the word of God and by the power of his name, Jesus, and by the authority vested in me as the man of God, receive ye the Holy Ghost.
this history making time our parents ke bahut khush aur hum tar shukr karte hain is is generation ke liye jo ek tarikhi generation hai this is a great time in the lord jesus christ aur ye khudaon yesu se me tonight we say how much we appreciate billy cole and his ministering team This is a scene of the people who would be gathered on the outside of the tent, the large tent that had been erected for the crusade was approximately 2,000 square meters and could hold over 10,000 people under the tent. All of these people would be on the outside of the tent, which you can see there at the top of the screen. they would be able to hear the sound system but possibly unable to see the platform or the speaker there was over 35,000 in attendance that night the chief of police called it the largest christian gathering in the history of the nation of Pakistan with over 10,000 in attendance the first night on Thursday over 25,000 in attendance on Friday night and on this the final night over 35,000 in attendance
This man came to the front. He's the first one to testify, had been blind, and God healed him in this service. A woman came forward and testified, been healed of deafness. This young boy, blind from birth, was healed. This young boy that had never spoken said his first words, hallelujah, in this service. There were many testimonies that came forward of healings. Over six reports of blinded eyes that were opened, the dumb that spake, deaf ears that had been unstopped, crippled that had walked. There's a lady whose arm had been healed, the pain that was in her arm when she came to the meeting had left. She's testifying that the pain had left her body. Many testified that demonic spirits had left them, tormenting spirits had left them, and they felt the peace of God, the power of God. One man testified that he had been carried in on a cot, but was now able to walk by the power and the glory of God. Oh! 